Alright. <clears throat> Let's push the envelope again right out of the mainstream media news. You know, every time uh, somebody under the age of 18 dies of corona panic, it will make the uh, <coughs> Yahoo's, you, you know, one of the top 100 stories on the planet. So, Teresa Sperry a fifth grader at Hill Point Elementary School. I uh, can't even remember where this is, uh, South Carolina or somewhere like that. Died last week, just days after she first began experiencing headache. Experiencing a headache. The family was notified by health officials that she had tested positive for COVID two days after her death. I mean, obviously, you know what they're saying there. Her parents said <clears throat> they had followed all safety measures to protect Teresa from the virus, even driving their kids to school to limit their potential exposure to COVID on the school bus. And now we are going to take a look at 10-year-old Teresa. Uh, oh, man. Unbelievable timing here. So we're going to take a look at Teresa, whose parents did everything in their power to protect their 10-year-old from uh, getting the corona panic. Yes. So there you go. Uh, guys, no comment needed. Parents doing everything they can to protect their children from corona panic when obesity, when you take age out of it, obesity, the single number one comorbidity factor. Uh, they've known for more than a year that obesity is the single biggest comorbidity factor. They've had well over a year to put uh, Teresa on a diet, but no, it was more important uh, to drive her in their own car instead of the school bus. Whose fault is it that this child is dead? Rest in peace, Teresa.